Hello everybody, this is Aistocky here, and I am back uh, playing the Solitary Craft 7 Nuclear Apocalypse Challenge. Uh, I have now got six pieces of sticky resin, I waited a little while for that to appear. And I would also like to let you know that uh, Solitary Craft 4 B for Bravo is now out. And what that means is that if I grab that copper ore and I throw it in there it will actually smelt now so that is excellent news um, Bastramki Bastrami I, I'm really sorry I got that wrong, he's the, he's the person who created the mod though has fixed it and updated it now so it smelts just like it should and at the moment it smelts into IC2 ores uh, but that's not a big deal, the reason it smelts into IC2 ores is because uh, thermal expansion is not installed but the reason I started right now is there is see those purple thingies over there there is an enderman just wandering around now that's I'm looking for a safe place with which to whop him one so I'm going to now come over here and then hopefully kill the enderman Ha! Cop that! He didn't even drop experience. Silly Enderman. I know I also had a bit of a look at this pick. Now, each piece of cobble still only repairs the same amount. So I think it took like uh, six pieces of cobble to repair the last one that... Well, after I, I went on a little bit of a mining expedition. Because... Now, did I... These are growing like double high. That's cool. Um, I don't know if I showed you, told you, maybe, ma mm, I probably did not. I've been playing a, a little bit off camera to try and speed some things along for you guys watching, um, but I have my resin now, so we will now take our copper ingot and we will make copper flat. Bam! Then we will cut copper. Okay, that only makes two insulated pieces of wire and we need six I thought it would be like Tim where it would make three but you know it doesn't always work out that way so let's smoosh this flat that hammer's not gonna last that long at this rate I'm gonna need to build one of those special machines soon there's our rubber why won't you shift click in shift click okay so now we need um, yeah, what do we need? I see, I don't know whether I need refined iron anymore. Circuit. Adve electronic circuit. Whoops, that was not the right key to click. There we go, we need iron plate. And while I remember... Whoa. Aha. There we go, back to recipe mode so I don't accidentally click that again. Um, oh yeah, we want hammer. So now we want to make, we're going to need redstone. It's been a long time since I made one of these. Two pieces of redstone, doo doop, doo doop. And an iron plate. Now that hammer took quite a lot of iron, didn't it? Um, I have a lot of iron left though, so I don't think that's going to be a big deal. We want to make a macerator. That's going to need all of them and one of them. And I don't think I have one of them left. I think I used it for my generator. Yes, I did, so... Wow. We now need eight iron plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many uses left? Forty-eight. That's not too bad. So now we need cobble and flint. Now I had some flint. 
flint, 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 flint. And I want to make sure this cobble works. It'd be really annoying if it didn't. It does not. So that's another thing that I'm going to have to have a look at. I don't actually think there's going to be a way to fix that. I think, unfortunately, it's just going to be stuck like that. While I have all these different kinds of cobble, it's just going to be annoying. Um, so it's charging up. It's using its charge just the way we would hope that things would be. Time to now. Um, actually, let's have a look what block. That is 250. So let's have a look at all the blocks in the 250 range. Because I know there's something you have to do now after you macerate. So you're going to Basic machine casing, iron furnace, electric furnace, macerator, extractor, compressor, canning machine, miner, pump, magnetizer, electrolyzer, recycler. What was the name of the machine? Uh, they're here. It's probably one of these ones up here. So we've got a thermal centrifuge, a metal former. I think it's the metal former that I want next. An ore washing plant, though. Now, the ore washing plant, I think, helps to further clean your ores out. So how do we make that? No, that's not. that was not the key. Try again. Ore washing plant. Yeah, so we need motors and buckets and casings, so we'll get to that later. What was the other one called? Metal former. This, I think, is going to help me make all the things that I'm going to need to make. What does it need? It needs bronze. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. Um, but we'll find out in a minute anyway. Take my copper. It's my tin. Your silver. Where did my tin go? Okay, so I only have one tin ore. Yeah, that's not going to be that good. That's going to make it really difficult to make the machines that I need to make. But for now, anyway, let's throw you in and start to crush you up. We're going to need some coal, it's fair to say. So what do we get? We get crushed copper ore. And the uses of a crushed copper ore are we can smelt it, we can thermal centrifuge it into a small pile of tin dust, copper dust and stone dust, or we can wash it and get crushed copper ore into purified crushed copper ore, small copper dust, Ah oh, man, this is just too confusing. I think we probably want to wash it. I think that's what we want to do. We want to wash it. But let's make this metal former first. That just needs a lot of copper and iron. And that needs lots of bronze. So bronze is going to be a problem because I have no tin. What about this washing plant? needs motors needs tin but a lot less tin um, electronic circuit machine case so that just needs a lot of iron can probably do a lot of iron Oop, there we go let's let's have a blueberry wow you eat those really quick okay but the reason that maybe not the reason but one of the things that I was doing off camera was I was exploring because I could hear water and I could hear zombies and I wanted to get to somewhere that was um, I guess not down the path that I originally went down which was down this way I wanted to find somewhere that was better so I came for a run down this way running, 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 running 
and that's the way I went previously. I also put stairs everywhere because it was just annoying me. That was where I found the diamond. I thought that's not where I want to be. So I came this way. <laughs> it was pretty random actually. Like I heard spider sounds. I went this way. Found a bunch of materials there. I kept kind of zigging and zagging as I could hear different noises. I went in here. Found some ores. I actually went up this way a bit and found an opening. And that opening had water and had skeletons, so I thought, okay, I'll skirt my way around that. I found lava and thought, that's far enough. Came up this way, and this is where I ended up going down. And down here I found some more lava and water. And then I came this way until I found the source. So look at that, we now have a water bucket source bucket. I blocked all that off because I wasn't sure it was around here but I kept this kind of because I know there's a good source of obsidian there for futures. That's right, futures is a word. Don't even try and tell me it's not. And I started coming this way and found a cave and thought I would stop and I would do this on camera. So here we have caviness. Again, not entirely sure what's here. What do we got? It looks like gold and copper. No, gold Golden redstone, and it would also appear that there is coal there. Coal is the word I was looking for. Excellent. Don't really want that uranium. Again, I'm not, I'm not here for uranium. What I will do though is lava is not nice. Let's not play with lava. All of a sudden it's rather dark though, so torch. That is good news, that means there's pretty much no lava around here. He says, kind of standing back and being really cautious. Because I can still hear lots of lava bubbling around. I'm sure I can hear mobs too. Again, a little worried. Need to be careful. Eh, I think I got this down, Pat. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with all this redstone. I suppose I could always make my pick faster. So you know, I've chucked a diamond in now, it's nice and strong or durable. All this coal, ridiculous amounts of coal. Now I, I don't know whether it's true or not, but I had read somewhere that the, I guess the developer of Greg Tech guess that's Greg. I don't really know. I've never really followed Greg Tech. It's always kind of annoyed me. But apparently he's had some involvement now in the actual IC2 mod. So that's part of the reason why the experimental build of IC2 that we're playing um, has that real flavor of we've added a whole heap of stuff to make it harder. Which I think is kind of cool. I mean, like I said, I think Greg Tech was a bit for for people who like to harm themselves and people who like to challenge for the sake of a challenge you know not just for a fun challenge but that it was rewarding and I think that's that's I think that's the balance they've struck here it certainly looks to me from looking at it it looks very uh, I guess red power 2-esque in terms of there's there seems to be you know you have to do it this way and then you have to kind of do that and you feel like there's a real progression in it or at least that's the impression that I've got so far from what I've seen of the new IC2. Seems very like you're making progression as you go through and it's not just challenging for challenges sake. But been rambling for a while. Silver! I thought you were tin! Ah oh, man. Where am I gonna find more tin? 
Pretty much my IC2 stuff is stuck until I find more tin. I wish I knew what altitude I had to look. I'm sure I'm sure tin's like the same height as gold. So it could be that I'm just too low. I might have to go a little bit higher up. Oh, whoa. A little bit of drunk mousing there. So maybe we need to do some random branch mining off from the top of this stairway here. What are we, 20... 31? You know, this, this could be like a good altitude to start. Just randomly randomizing a direction and looking for tin. But again, you guys don't want to see me do all this on camera. You guys would rather see the exciting stuff. So what I'm going to do is probably uh, pause the video. I'm going to go back and check on some of my IC2 stuff. And I'm going to see how we go. So back in what is going to seem like mere moments for you guys. See you soon. Okay, guys, I'm back. And oh my goodness, that better be tin. Um, I found six silver on my last little run. Basically what I've done is I walked along this path, went down here a little bit, did three. Now my intention is to go up here and do the same thing and I found something almost straight away and I'm not picking it up. So that makes me think that it probably is tin. I've got so much gabbro, I don't need you, I don't need you. It is tin! Oh my goodness! Why did that have to be so hard? I even went on the the wiki and found out that it spawns between like level 20 and level 55 so you now I'm right in the smack in the sweet spot for it oh I found iron good stuff one two three four five six uh, seven that'll do one two three four five let's go a couple more through here We'll stick you there. I love these stone torches. I love the fact that you're not just not relying on wood anymore. Um, I also don't think I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I have now installed the extended fuels mod. Um, I hadn't installed it previously because I had forgotten that I wanted it and now that I know that I want it I've installed it. So, clearly that's how this is meant to work. You know you want something, you do it. I'm just going to leave a whole lot of cobble on the ground. I'm sure I'll end up picking it up later by accident. In case you're wondering about the buckets, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In case you're wondering about the buckets, I decided that I, what I was going to do was make myself an infinite spring. So I extended the little bit of water out that I had um, that was next to my existing farm, and I turned it into a three block long piece of water. Now I think that one is lead. So what don't I need? That is the one that I seem to be using the least. There we go. Lots of beautiful lead. Oop, here. You can see where I went down below. I tell you what, mining all this coal is really bumping me up some levels. But now that I have lots more tin, I think I hmm. You know what, I don't even know if I can. I'm not even sure if I have the right machine to be able to make bronze. Oh yeah, look at that. Just let's, let's just pick up a heap of cobble. Why not? Why not indeed? Yep, one stack. But the important thing is, I got six silver, only five tin. Like, why should I be finding more silver than tin? Just doesn't, just not right. 
I feel like the game's messing with me on purpose. I got a raspberry too. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Um, oh, let's go and see if we are going to be lucky enough to get another resin spot. Oh, we are. Another two. Actually, if that's the six that I'm thinking it is... No, it's four. Ah, oh, man, I was thinking that I was going to have enough stuff to make something good. To make my next machine. Now, we want bronze. Oops. The only way to make that is to use copper dust. Ah, uh, okay, so I can smelt. What else there is? Scrap box. Yeah, so I can smelt. Oh, I've got to make bronze to start with, don't I? Yep, okay, so. It is definitely not going to help me. Um, can I make? No, okay. Lots of crushed copper though. So I may as well now crush some tin. And what was the next machine I wanted? Was it a former? Metal former? Okay, so this is the one that needs bronze. Yep, so I can't do that. What about the washer? Or washing plant. That I can make. Iron, 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 iron. Lots of iron. Iron. Motors and circuits. So, more iron, more tin. Lots of copper. Well, it's easy. I just need lots of iron, lots of tin, and lots of copper. What could be easier? In case you're wondering, there was meant to be a slight bit of sarcasm there that I'm not sure if I correctly reflected in my voice. I'm also not sure how long I've been playing for. Hmm. Eh, whatever. If this is longer than it should be, you guys can have a longer than it should be episode. Okay, there's my infinite water source. My berries. Hoping that this one here in the corner grows so that I can have a double raspberry plant. Because for whatever reason, I only have one raspberry bush when I started, and I have lots of blueberries. Like, lots of blueberries. So much food! Forgot what I was doing. I hate it when that happens. I don't know, I, again, I really just don't know how much I need of this stuff. But it can't hurt to make a lot. Um, Got to find places to put these things now. All this lead ore and stuff that I'm just not going to use. Jert. Look at that, way more room now. Let's take the crushed tin and the crushed copper back. And let's cook that up. Not very organised at the moment. Do I have any more? Silver, lead, lots more iron. I have one tin ingot, which is at least a good start, I guess. So, at least now we're, we're getting double for each one. Now, I'm sure that I read somewhere that I can get more if I use that washing, so I might as well start doing that. And I think was it when I wash it... Uses. Uses. So I can smelt it. I can centrifuge it into dust. Or I can wash it into that. And what's the use of that? I can smelt that. Or I can thermal centrifuge it. I really need a thermal centrifuge. Okay, so, easy. I need a thermal centrifuge. 
thermal centrifuge takes 48 EU per tick. Okay, that is going to cause problems. No two ways about it. That's going to cause me issues. How much of an issue? Okay, it needs mining lasers and advanced machine casings. Okay, we're not getting one of those. Nope, not going to do it. How else do I make bronze? Smeltery? Smeltery controller? Needs seed bricks. How do I make seed bricks? You cook up grout. How do I make grout? Sand, clay, and gravel. Fantastic. All things I can't get. Um, okay. Change of plans. This isn't an airlock yet. This is the airlock here. And the important thing about the airlock is we now have fresh running water that goes through the airlock that I can clean all my stuff off with. So I have a fresh running source of water. That means anything that's got a little bit of fallout on the outside of it. So not things that like come from uh, mobs which are highly contaminated with fallout or trees or anything like living that's grown outside but you know if I was to dig up some clay from the ground you know I could use that because that's just got fallout on it and I'm gonna wash it off so that's kind of the idea of that 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 rule I guess you would say so what I'm gonna do is just get rid of all almost all of this stuff I have a an egg. Yeah, a lot of chickens. I need to kill some of them. I need to start eating some... Oh, wow, 15 eggs. Okay. I've actually already had one chicken die on me, too. Because one of them... You know, the egg hit the wall, and it spawned inside the wall. So if I put my iron boots on... But I don't know what light it is like outside. So I'm not going to know that until I make a clock. Because I need to know what time of day it is. So. Need more coal, quick. Quick little feet, get me there. I really wish you could just right click on the machine to put some coal in it. So I need four of these and a piece of redstone. That'll make me a watch and then I can check what time it is. Now I had a few people tell me to go like this and go clock and any eye just tells you look it's night time. But see that, that's cheating. That just doesn't seem right so I didn't do that. No one saw me do it. It didn't happen. I'm living in a world of dreams. No, not sure. Not sure where I was going with that. But, look at that. We, we now have 10 tin ingots. 11 if you count that one. Actually, let's dispose of that one. And let's get the correct one. Okay, I'm still in not cheaty mode. Back, inventory, cheaty mode. There we go. And then we go back to not cheaty mode. Let's make this clock and let's find out what time it is. Yeah, I didn't do a good job of that. Okay, clock says it is night time. So, got my boots on. Um, got our corrected airlock.
So unfortunately for me, can't use that string, can't use those seeds, can't use that pig. But if I head this way, I can see some clay. Well, I can't see clay, but I can see a water source. And water source is normally where you find clay. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Snuck up behind me and punched me in the butt. Where was he? Yeah, cop that. I will defeat you. And you. I will defeat you too. I don't want your stuff. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want your stuff either. Get away stuff. Just want clay. Oh, and sand. Clay and sand. Um. Ah, spider. The problem is I'm not seeing any clay. Whoop, okay. Gotta get home quick. I left it a little bit too long. Now, to my mind, as long as we stay with the more than half of the sun kind of closed in, we're okay. That's my rule. Now, what did I get that I shouldn't have had? Okay. Yeah, that was it. Okay. So, jump in the water, jump in the water, wash everything off. Got to now take off my fallout contaminated boots. Jump back in, give everything a good wash. Ah, the red lock door was closed. That's you, Devon, I'm talking to. Okay, so, that did not go that well. Yeah, let's not beat around the bush. That did not go that well. I went out for clay, and I got five sand. But, I didn't have any sand to start with. I now have five sand. Five sand is better than no sand. It's a counting game. And I didn't die, I didn't get contaminated with something horrible and vile and evil. And I now have lots of crushed iron, so this this has been a successful episode. Um, the only thing we're potentially missing is... I wonder if I can make a bat box. That looks like the right one. So we need three batteries, insulated tin cable, a bunch of wood planks. Seriously, zombie? He's going to be banging all day. Um, hope that annoys everybody else as much as it annoys me. Oh, I can't do that. I'll, I'll definitely save that for later. Anyhow, guys, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Um, what am I going to do next episode? Oh, yeah. Um, bat box. I'm going to make a bat box. I have lots of copper now. So I'm going to make some cables, and I'm going to run them around. Yeah, I might even put the generator up against the bat box, and then run cable around the back of it. I don't know yet. I've forgotten how this thing works. I don't even know if I need, like, a bronze saw. Um, yeah, I really just don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to work something out though. In between now and next episode I will work something out and I'm going to do it and it's going to be awesome. So look forward to seeing you guys soon. Until next time, a stocky out.